Peplink routers support CLI, SSH, and console control. This video will show you how to configure and use this feature. Start by logging into your Peplink web admin and go to the system admin security page, which is where we're sitting now. Find the CLI, SSH, and console setting and enable it. Some additional fields will appear. You can set this for LAN access only or set it to LAN and WAN. You'll also want to verify the port in which you'll access the device. We'll use the default of 8822 here as that won't conflict with anything on our network. When done, click save at the bottom of the page and then apply changes at the top right. At this time, we'll open the utility application terminal on our Mac computer. If you're on Windows, you can use something called PuTTY. In the terminal window, I'll enter the following command. If you're prompted with the RSA key fingerprint, you should be asked if you want to continue. Type in yes. Enter your Peplink's admin password when prompted. After this, you can begin entering controls. We'll start with get WAN, which is going to report back all this data from our WAN connections on the router. For more on the command reference, we can go to this guide. Check out the link to this guide in the description. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you're interested in seeing more videos like this.